Hey everybody, welcome to Burrotech. In this episode, I'm gonna be doing some Udemy technical analysis and I'm gonna be talking about workers living paycheck to paycheck because of inflation. All right, welcome back. Let's start this video here. So as you can see, Udemy has gone up and down here and something's very interesting has happened on the day chart here. So as you know, I like to do technical analysis. Now the thing about technical analysis though, is that uh, it is more of a uh, a path to follow. It's not necessarily the exact path that you should go. It's more of a general direction here. But as you can see, we have had this trend line here. And as you know, I've, I've drawn steeper lines with their downtrend here. So for example, we had a line that kind of went down and that was broken. And then there was another line that this is broken here. And today is basically a do or die uh, for Udemy here. So Udemy really just has to close uh, pretty much above the 11.8 uh, and then this downtrend is invalidated. Now, how does these downtrends work? Now again, it's, you know, it's not really something that is super accurate, but it does kind of show the trend, right? This is just basically a trend line. It's, it's literally the most basic technical analysis you can do. And you know, sometimes the the wicks here, the wicks of the candles don't really, um, don't matter as much. Sometimes you can draw them in, other times uh, you don't here. But basically, uh, for all you need to know is that, well, let's just say uh, if it gets to 1185 today, then this downtrend uh, will be in, invalidated. But otherwise, it will probably go down even more. I think we had an all time low of around 1025 here. It might test that again here. But what I want to talk about is as inflation heats up, 64% of Americans are now living paycheck to paycheck. Now, the thing is, is that most people understand an economic depression as an absence of money, but you can actually have too much money uh, in the system as well. And this is what's known as inflation here. And the, the idea is, is that, you know, you're only as rich as what the goods and services that you can afford here. If you can't afford goods and services, are you really rich? And if you really think about it, you know, if you're making X amount of dollars per hour, but you can't really afford things, then well, are you making more money? And this is the kind of heart of the inflationary depression here. So when it comes to learning to code Udemy, all of this stuff here really does make sense because most people don't really understand that uh, that you know the money in their account might be worth less and less year over year because of inflation here. So um, so what I expect is even if there is a you know people can't afford things, they will spend the money on a ten dollar twenty dollar Udemy course. I I think they absolutely will because. The thing is, is that, you know, learning to code and learning technical skills is the best way to get even more money here. So I really, I really do think that's the thing. On another note, uh, so Bitcoin has made all time highs with the Russian ruble. And the reason why this is, is that the Russian ruble has gone down. And so what that means is that if you had purchased a property, uh, let's say in Russia, and you held some Bitcoin, well, eventually that Bitcoin will be more worth more than your property, if that makes any kind of sense. So let's say, for example, you bought something for, I don't even know how much properties cost in Russia, but let's say five, uh, five million rubles, right? And you bought Bitcoin at one million ruble, right? Uh, so I think, I think it is somewhat similar, uh, somewhat, uh, similar to that here. But if, let's say your Bitcoin went up to five million rubles, then you'd be able to pay off your entire property there. And so, uh, and, and of course, if you had multiple properties, like, I don't know, say worth 20 million rubles and Bitcoin and the Russian ruble went down, down, down and down. And so that your Bitcoin is now worth 30 million rubles, then you only, you'd make 10 million rubles. You'd, you get to own all the property, if that makes any kind of sense. So inflation's really good with things that are finite. And to be clear, uh, property in cities is finite. It's uh, it's finite. So once you put that mortgage, it crystallizes uh, the inflation here, and it's really a good inflation hedge. And deflation is the worst thing for your mortgage because your money is worth more every year, but your debt is also worth more too. So in an inflationary environment, debt is good, and this is opposite thinking of what a lot of people are, are thinking are think here. 
uh, because most people think debt is bad. And if you were on a gold standard or um, a deflationary environment, debt is really, really bad. But in an inflationary environment, debt is really, really good. Okay. So with inflation going up here, um, you know, people are going to try everything to get more money here. And, uh, and one of the ways you can do that is by taking a Udemy course, right? Or an online learning course. So it hasn't really hit the online learning space yet, but once people really start to feel the, the pinch of, of, of losing jobs, and, and not getting ahead, then yes, I think absolutely uh, e-learning is going to be a thing. And the reason, again, is that it's just, you know, it's the best thing you can do. Uh, you know, job openings will happen at different companies. Uh, so I expect it to happen, all right? So inflation here, uh, you can see that earnings are up, but inflation's uh, more than earnings. So what people do at this case is that they find another job that's in a different skill set above the inflation here. And so they feel like they're getting ahead. Um, so, you know, and, and so this is this is something that is different, right? 2008 was a liquidity, uh, was a liquidity problem and deflationary in some in some respects. Now things might look more like Venezuela. And in order to protect yourself, there are multiple things you can do. One, get a job in technology because technology will always uh, benefit from inflation, right? Uh, just because the more money that's printed, it goes straight to the hedge funds and straight to the startups. And that's exactly what's going to happen. And even if that isn't really happening, there still will be a ton of investment in technology because it's absolutely everywhere, right? The only thing that could really do that, uh, take this out is a solar flare, but that's really unlikely. Um, uh, or a coronal mass ejection. Those are two different things, but I could probably do a whole other video about that. But anyway, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have you know, a stable job. The second thing is you want to make sure that you hold gold, silver, and Bitcoin, maybe Ethereum as well. Uh, all those three are going to be huge. Uh, we can take a look, even though gold is down today, and I understand that gold, um, you know, it's, it, it will, it could, it could go to 40 or 100K, right? Gold, gold could do that. There's, there's, a, there's a few things that could happen. Now, is it going to happen? I don't know, but it could happen, right? Oil is up. Uh, the all-time high was uh, 178, but in gold, it was about 0.2 gold ounces. So it could go up to about 300, which is insane for gas prices, right? Um, you know, natural gas is hitting highs too, and that's because uh, they ended fracking in the United States. But essentially, uh, if you own gold, silver, and Bitcoin, right? Um, Bitcoin will be a good inflation hedge. Gold is probably one of the better inflation hedges. Uh, it's really more of a calamity hedge uh, than an inflation hedge. And then silver, um, you know, is is easily accessible. So you should at least own um, $100 worth of silver, I would say. Uh, gold, you know, if you can afford it, one gold ounce. And then if you can really afford it, one whole Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin is probably going to 10 million a coin. It probably is. And you'd be able to loan it out and retire forever here. So in conclusion, um, you know, e-learning might have... A bit of a dip but it's definitely going to be stronger here i've noticed personally my sales are not as good as as in the pandemic but uh they are still stronger than the year before quite a bit stronger okay so the other thing is that today the number one thing you need to look out for is on udemy is 1185 if it closes above 1185 and then the next day it gets up to around 12, then this downtrend is completely invalidated, all right? So that concludes this video. I'm gonna know your thoughts down below. Are you afraid of inflation? What are you doing to combat it here? Because one of the things this channel does not get is enough comments, so please comment in the videos below. And if you really like this channel, you can pledge for this project here. The more money you pledge, the more courses you get. This is the complete Python automation and machine learning bundle. These are the kind of programmers that will always be in demand. So by learning this skill set, you will have an indestructible career opportunity. So there's lots of cool things in here, such as web scraping, which is used quite a bit here, machine learning automation. We also have Google Assistant and Apple HomeKit automation. And the best of all, we have Web3 blockchain automation. These are really good here. And again, the more courses you pledge, the more content you get. All of these rewards do stack here. It really does help us out when you pledge for this product. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.